So what you want to be able to do is you want to write. So notice when I write can't and I switch to the arrow, it actually moves the entire word. Now something that would be really nice is to be able to sort out the letters. So one thing you can do is if you click on the word, you got to click on the drawing itself, on the actual ink. You'll notice that all of these options now show up that were previously invisible. So let's take a look at these options. This first one allows you to grab and move the object. The second one allows you to rotate the object. It doesn't have to be handwriting, it could be anything. The third one opens up a menu of different options and has some really neat options in there that you'll want to check out. The fourth one is a translucency slider. So I hold that down and I'm able to make it more invisible. The, the fifth one is grouped. You'll notice that it's red because all of the letters are grouped together. So if I click on that, they are now separate. So I can move the C away and students could swap in different letters and now put a B for bat or an R for rat. The sixth option is going to bring forward and backward. So if I have something uh, on top of something else, it's going to send it to the front or the back. This one sends it to the back. And this option duplicates or makes a copy. So if I click on it right there, it'll copy it. And I can have as many copies as I want. And then I can resize, make it bigger and smaller. So if I click on any object, you'll notice that a menu of options shows up.